Hello, my name is Dale Wilhite. Well, I'm right now in Grand Junction, Colorado for, I don't know, about another 18 hours, and then I'll be heading back to Miami. If you want to find out anything about me, go to MySpace, Facebook, or Twitter. Here is a warning I want to give to people who plan to stay off, stop off at a motel or hotel in the future, and, and, and this pertains to your credit card. If you are asked, you know, that you have to pay by credit card, here is something you need to do. You need to demand that they give you a form that lists everything in that motel room that you're going to be staying in. And the, this form is the same thing, the same type of form you would get, you know, that uh, lists uh, a place where you can list any damages you find in the room, just as you would when you move into an apartment. And if they don't give you that, then tell them you can't pay by credit card. Here's why. If you pay by credit card and there's some and there's damage in the room that you didn't do, let's say the maid does it or a maintenance person does it uh, after you leave, but you're the one that gets billed, it may be a month before you find out you've been billed for it. Remember, they want that credit card because they can bill you for any damages uh, that uh, might occur in which you didn't bother to tell them or bother to pay cash for them. But as I just said, the, the problem with that is that the damage could come from a maid or it could come from a maintenance person or from, you know, somebody else in there that you had nothing to do with, but you get billed for it anyway. And so you may be a thousand miles away, uh, back home somewhere. And so what do you do? You know, even if it's a hundred bucks, it's still a hundred bucks you're out of for damages you had nothing to do with. That's where the problem lies. That's why you, every hotel motel that requires a credit card needs to, by law, be required to give you a damage sheet where you can list any damages you find up there, bring it back down down there to them, and say, okay, here, this room this room has got a hole under the wall right here. You list it down there. You know, the phone's broken. The doorknob is broken. There's a hole in the shower. You know, the the shower head is missing. You know, I, believe me, I've had mo I've gone to motels where the shower head's missing. I've gone to motels where there was no linen before, or actually no towels or things like that before, and that's usually at the day's end. I've been at two days in of my lifetime and went in there and there was no towels, no nothing. And then I went down, even no, no remote control either, went down to an office to get it. One was in Pensacola and one was in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And uh, both times the death clerk like, well, what, what do you expect? It's like, I guess I'm supposed to bring my own towels and stuff. But anyhow, that's what should be required. Because if, if it should be the same as when you move into an apartment. They must, they can bill you what I'm trying to say, even though you didn't damage something, because other people are going to go in there uh, after you leave, and it could be a maintenance person or a housekeeper or housekeepers, and they could do the damage and not report it because it might cost them their job, or they may have to pay for the damages, and they would probably have to pay for the damages, uh, because uh, that's just the way motels are, but you're the one that gets billed for it. So, you know, you need to talk to your uh, representatives, your political representatives, about maybe passing a law that requires uh, motels and hotels uh, that they must give you such a sheet. It should be required before they can uh, demand a credit card from you. You know, um, because right now this is something that, that needs to be dealt with because, as I said, you could be billed. And I'm trying to warn people that there's a danger in that. And so when you go to a motel or hotel and they ask you or demand a credit card or you want to pay by credit card, that's one of the things they need to do. They need to give you that uh, damage sheet so that you can uh, list any damages that are up there. And if you find any, then you can bring it back down to them and give it to them. You sign it and they sign it and they understand that there are damages already there and they need to give you a copy of it. It's just as simple as that. That's why I try to warn people over and over again about giving out your credit card uh, when you stop off at a hotel, hotel because you don't, under, you know, I don't think a lot of them are aware that they can be, you can be ripped off. I don't think most motel and hotel owners would do that to you, but some would, even if there is no damage. You know, you're, you may be in a uh, stop out of a motel in California, live in New York. Well, what you going to do? They bill you for an extra 50 bucks for something that may not even exist. And if they say there was damage here, well, you may not even be aware of it. Whether it's their word against your word, guess who's going to win? They are. And what are you going to do? Sell for the 50 bucks to get it back? That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's it's creating a really dangerous uh, situation. And it's again, it's just another way for consumers to be ripped off. 
So that's just my warning about such things. Here's the place I'm staying at. You know, you just give a fifty dollar deposit, and that's it. And that's that's why I stay here in Grand Junction when I'm here at this particular motel because I know it very well, and I know what the and I know that they're honest, and I know that they will not rip me off, and I don't have to give a credit card if I don't want to. But that's the danger. And so when you do stay at a motel, a hotel, even if you don't have to give a credit card, I would pay by cash if I could. You might save yourself a lot of profits. You really would. Anyway, thank you for your time and uh, take heed to this morning. And I really would talk to my political representatives about uh, this and maybe changing or fixing the laws that require any motel or hotel that takes a credit card. They must give you that sheet so that you can list any damages that you find up there. And they must give you a copy of it once it's signed, filled out and signed, so that you're protected. That way they can't bill you for something you didn't do. It's as simple as that. Thank you for your time.